to the clutter with Cutter 10 News Analyst Brian Calfano. Now on Ozarks Tonight. Good evening. We're joined tonight by someone who you're used to seeing here on Ozarks Tonight. It's, of course, Will Schmidt from the Springfield News Leader. Will, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, Brian. We've got to go through a few issues that I think are important for folks to get a little debrief on from Tuesday's election. The first Prop A going down by a two to one margin. What do you make of that? Well, there was kind of the sense out there that it, it wasn't going to pass, but it was kind of shocking to see it go down by such a huge margin. Even in Greene County, it went down nearly 60% of voters voting no. What I'm looking at is the fundraising totals usually, and you see unions inside and outside of Missouri pouring in money left and right. I mean, they outspent the supporters of the law by about three to one. Uh, that's a lot of money, and that helps you know, when you're talking about getting out the vote and getting out your vote, especially. It's interesting. Now, what about Greene County's presiding commissioner race? Another big shock. I think folks expected a close race on the Republican side, the so-called Battle of the Bobs. But Bob Certain really handed a pretty strong defeat. And would you attribute that to anything like maybe the negative campaign ads that Certain ran against Dixon? It could be that. It could be the fallout from the, uh, the fracas with the state auditor and the whistleblower saga and all that stuff. Uh, that's another one kind of like right to work where maybe it was leaning one way, but you didn't expect it to be that stark of a defeat. So how would you take a look at this race looking down for the general election? You've got Lampy on the Democratic side for presiding commissioner, and you got Bob Dixon, two former state reps, both with pretty decent name recognition. You got any sense as to where voters might be on that? Well, just because Greene County historically leans um, toward the Republican side, you got to think um, Senator Dixon is the favorite right now. But you got two good candidates here. It should be a pretty good race. Now, nobody is thinking statewide that you're going to have Republicans lose control of, of the state legislature. No. But is there any rumbling that Democrats might make some more of an inroad than they've got now? I think Crystal Quaid is the only elected Democrat south of Jefferson City, if I understand that correctly. Certainly in, in Slim our Pickens. part of the state, for sure. Slim Pickens. Yeah. Do you see any indication, any evidence that Democrats might pick up an additional seat or two? I mean, they're optimistic. They kind of have to be, right? When you're, when you're that deep in the hole, you got to be optimistic. But... They might flip a few seats. I think we, if you'll see Democrats flipping seats, it'll be in Congress, not necessarily in the state house. But they may. They may. Will Schmidt from the Springfield News Leader. As right. always, appreciate your time. Thanks, man. And Color 10 News will continue after this.